Hello students, my name is Sushma Mani. Today let us discuss the chapter Molecular Basis of Inheritance. To start with, what is nucleic acid? A chain of nucleotides is called a nucleic acid. Now the nucleic acids can also act as genetic material. When do we call a nucleic acid a genetic material? When the information, what we call the biological information, is stored in the nucleic acid and it gets uh, transferred or inherited to the offspring, then the nucleic acid is specifically said to be a genetic material. The nucleic acids can be classified into two types, DNA and RNA. At the beginning of or what you say uh, when uh, Earth started to evolve, RNA was the genetic material. But later, when Earth became stable, RNA was replaced by DNA. The reason for this is DNA is more stable when compared to RNA. Now, the information or what we call the biological information is stored or hidden in the DNA in the form of three codes, what we call triplet genetic codes. These are nothing but nitrogen bases. As we proceed, we'll go through the different aspects of genetic material. So let's get started with the first question. As you can see, what is not true for DNA in prokaryotes? The first option, present in the form of a compact structure called nucleoid, B, the coils are maintained by non-histone basic proteins. C, found in cytoplasm in a supercoiled condition. And D, packaged as nucleosomes along with histones. So out of these four options, we have to pick the one which is not true or which is incorrect. Let us start from the first option present in the form of a compact structure called nucleoid. What we call, in prokaryotes, you will not find a true nucleus. The genetic material is found in a coiled form, what is called a nucleoid. So this option is right. The next one, the coils are maintained by non-histone basic proteins. This option is also right with prokaryotes because the genetic material, you can see that it is present in the form of a coil and that coiling is because of non-histone basic proteins. The third option, found in cytoplasm in a supercoiled condition. This also is right with respect to prokaryote. The reason for this is the supercoiled condition or the genetic material is not covered by a nuclear membrane. Then comes the last option, packaged as nucleosomes along with histones. So this option with respect to prokaryotes is not right. That's why the right option for this question is option D. The next question, pick the right difference between a DNA and a RNA. Options are sugar and phosphate, sugar and purines, purines and phosphate, sugar and pyrimidines. We are all aware that DNA and RNA are basically made up of three components which are sugar, nitrogen base and phosphate. Now when we Expand DNA and RNA, we know DNA is deoxyribonucleic acid, RNA is ribonucleic acid. So in the name itself you can make out that this is deoxy and this one is oxy. Here in DNA there is one oxygen less when compared to RNA, so that is one difference. So one difference is in sugar. The next difference what we have to find out is with respect to phosphate. As such there is no difference with respect to phosphate. 
The next one which comes is nitrogen base. So when we talk about nitrogen base, we are aware that in DNA we come across the nitrogen bases which are adenine, guanine, cytosine and thymine. Whereas in RNA, thymine is replaced by uracil. So here also there is a difference. That is in the nitrogen bases also there is a difference. And uracil and thymine, they fall under the category of pyrimidines. So the right answer is option D. Let us discuss the next set of questions. Hershey and Chase experiment proving DNA as the genetic material was based on the principle. Let us see what are these terms. Transduction. The transfer of genetic material into a bacterial cell with the help of a virus is called transduction. Transformation. Transformation is the change of a bacterial cell due to the direct entry of DNA. Transcription, as you people know, it is synthesis of RNA from a DNA template. D, translation, it is production of a polypeptide chain from a messenger RNA. Now, when we were studying about Hershey Chase experiment, we know that the bacterial cells were made to infect with the help of bacteriophages. Bacteriophages are nothing but viruses which infect bacterial cells. So according to this, the right option will be A, transduction. Next question. The coding sequences found in split genes are called A, operon, B, introns, C, exons, D, cistrons. Operon is a set of genes which comprises of control genes, structural genes and a promoter gene. Interons are nothing but the non-coding intervening sequences. Exons are the coding sequences. And cistrons, a gene which is capable of synthesizing a specific polypeptide chain is called cistron. So the right answer over here is option C, exons. <music> Wobble hypothesis means base pairing, altered base on code, third altered base on codon, both B and C. Let us see one by one the options. Base pairing. Here when we talk about base pairing, the base pairing is between the anticodons of transfer RNA and the codons of messenger RNA. Both these have to be complementary. So you can see here base pairing though it is right but it is not specific. Next, altered base on code. Here this answer is also not very specific because which code is being altered is not mentioned over here. Third one, they have specifically mentioned third altered base on the codon. That is the third base is altered. Here you can see that generally when the complementary base pairing takes place between the anticodon of the transfer RNA and the codons of messenger RNA, all the three have to be complementary with each other. But according to Wobel hypothesis, the last one, if it is not exactly complementary, will also help both these to combine with each other. And the last one, both B and C, is also just to mislead you people. Wobel positioning means, or Wobel position means, when the complementary base pairing takes place between the anticodons of transfer RNA and the codons of messenger RNA, the last base can wobble, that is if it is not complementary to each other, will also allow the base pairing. 
So according to this, the right answer is third altered base on codon. That is if the third base is also not complementary, still base pairing will take place. So the right answer here is option C.